Excel widgets come in handy when one wants to create user interactions that are beyond just using cell values, which is the case when one wants to build dashboards in Excel. Excel provides several widgets such as scroll bars, spinners, and checkboxes. These widgets can be used to control cell values and eventually the behavior in Excel sheet. Let us see a demo to understand this better. The first thing that one needs to make sure is that the developer tab is enabled within the Excel application. Now within a Mac operating system, the way you can enable the developer tab is by going to the Excel menu, clicking on preferences, and then clicking on ribbon and toolbars and making sure that the developer option is checked. A similar process can also be employed to enable developer options on a Windows machine. Now, once the developer options are enabled, you can see that I have now access to several widgets. I can first experiment with the scroll bar widget. Let me select it and then click somewhere on the Excel worksheet. I can see that I have a scroll bar present. And if I click on this arrow, you can see a small slider is moving. This widget can be used to make our Excel sheets more interactive. How can we do that? The first thing I'll do is I will left click on this widget and then I will click on form control. And here I can select what is the minimum value that will correspond to this arrow when my scroll is at this position. And what is the maximum value which will correspond to the scrolls position all the way till here. So let's keep these values from 0 to 100 as of now. I can also map a cell on which the values that are controlled by the slider will appear. So let's say that I want to map cell W3 to this. And if I click OK, you can see I can see a value of 25 here. If I move this slider, you can see that the value is also changing. Let us now see how can we use a scroll bar widget to do something interesting. Now, let's imagine that what we want to do is we want to experiment with what happens if we change the definition of a senior citizen age. So currently, we have defined a senior citizen to be someone who is greater than or equal to 60 years of age. And that is how we arrived at these columns. Now to arrive at the counts of total number of senior citizens, senior citizens who are affluent and people who are senior or affluent, all I need to simply do is just sum up this column, which is what I've done over here. Now, if I change the cutoff age from 60 to let's say 62, you can see that these counts are changing because I have now mapped the logical condition to this particular cell, which contains the cutoff age value. Now I can make it slightly more interesting by introducing a scroll bar here. So let me first click on scroll bar and drop it somewhere here. Now I can go to format control and I can map a cell, which is this one. And I can probably change the minimum value to something else because we are talking about senior citizens. So based on different definitions, senior citizens can be anywhere from 55 years of age to let's say 65 years of age. And I click OK. And you can now see this is 55. Now, if I click over here, you can see that this value is changing and the other values that are dependent on this cell are also changing. So you can use your own imagination and you can imagine how you can use different kinds of widgets. I've shown you a very simple example over here.